Hi, Marco here. Don't you wish you had a CI CD server that would just get out of your way and let you stay in your development flow? Meet Team City Pipelines. Say I want to create a new pipeline for an A new to-do list repository I have on my GitHub account. And then I'm immediately brought into our pipeline editor. Now what I could do for this demo is show you the YAML way of copy and pasting a thousand YAML snippets together to form a pipeline, but that would be quite boring. Instead, I'm gonna show off our intelligent and beautiful UI editor. On the left side, you have the pipeline visualized. On the right side, you'll see context dependent actions. I want to create a new job. I'm going to call the job build backend. I know this job is supposed to run a Java project. I'm gonna enter the script Maven package to build my project. Now, Team City Pipelines wants to be smart. It detects you're trying to run a Maven package build step and shows you one of these magic suggestion boxes asking, hey, are you interested in collection and display of test results or parallel test runs without you having to do anything? Then you can convert this script to a so-called Maven build step, a pipeline specific concept that then lets you later on set up these advanced features just with the click of a button without you having to configure anything. Let's run this build step inside a Docker container. Again, we don't want you to have to leave the application just to find the right Docker image. So you'll find that auto completion inside pipelines works in places where you might not even expect it to work, right? Or you just paste in directly your Docker file contents here and pipelines make sure to build, cache and run your build step inside that Docker container for you. I've talked about additional features like parallel testing, for example. No, you don't need to change your code. You just use a slider two, three, four, and the Team City pipelines will split up and run these tests in batches, reducing your build time by a lot, and we'll give you a tiny prediction of that as well. And there are even more optimizations to come right after the beta release. You can run your pipeline on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows agents. You can obviously create artifacts that you can share later on with other jobs or just download them. And then last but not least, let's build a real pipeline, add a new job called Quality Gate Backend. How do you now connect these two? Simple, by just clicking a tiny checkbox. Now you have your first pipeline formed. Let's add another job, a deploy job, and it should run after Quality Gate Backend. Now we have a linear pipeline, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let's add a fourth job. And then we simply make sure that deploy runs after Quality Gate Backend and Build Frontend. You see these run in parallel, these run in a linear fashion, and you have a nice little pipeline that we can finally run. On this page, we try to bring all the important information together. Here on the left side, you see the current visualization of the pipeline, which job is running, is it green, is it red? The information, job run number one, the queue time, the running time, who triggered the job. On the right side, you have the build log, and you even have a terminal window where you can simply connect to the running build agent have a look at the files checked out there and can jump right into debugging your pipeline if something isn't working as expected. All on one page without you having to move anywhere else. But even better, we analyze your build after it has run. We have an optimization center here and we can tell you, hey, with just a click of a button, you might want to turn on these optimization features to drastically reduce build times in the future. Job reuse, which we actually will offer you automatically once we've run the pipeline once. Parallel testing, you saw that feature in action. Maven build caches so that future builds don't have to reload, download all the Maven dependencies. Docker image caching, if applicable. And these features will make sure that your pipeline always runs in the fastest time possible without you having to read up about them in 10,000 pages in the documentation. In short, I just showed you how to configure, run, and potentially debug your pipeline. Now it's time for you to try it out yourself. Team CD Pipelines is now available in public beta with a pretty generous free plan unless you start mining bitcoins. In any case, we want and need your feedback. Let us know what you think. I will personally reply to every email we get. So try it out. Talk to you later. Bye.